Hi, this is Round by Round with James Goey. We're here in Far Texas at the Stormy Colors Bar and Grill. We have two participants that are going to be making their pro debut. I know they're excited. They've been dreaming about this all their life. So, hey, Anthony Cavazos, Board Awards 2. Uh, this Saturday, the Bogus Ford Event Center is giving their opportunity to show themselves. Now, the gentleman on my right is Tovi Tovar from McAllen, yes, McAllen, Texas, and Benito Rios from Mission, Texas. McAllen, McAllen. Oh, you're living in McAllen now. Okay, you moved. All right. Hey. Before we talk to Tovi, let's talk to Benito. Benito, excited to go in pro? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't step to step inside of the ring. Now, you had probably, what, 40 amateur fights, won what, pretty much all of them, 38 yeah, of them? Yeah, 38 wins and okay. two losses. Okay. Now, Benito, this is a pro game now, okay? You're taking off the headgear. What have you done in your training to, to, to transition to the pros? Well, you know, training harder, you know, keeping my hands on top, you know, fighting – you know, amateur style, not they have to throw more punches through rounds. You know, you, amateur I throw like 20 punches, now I have to throw like 80 punches or 90, like 200 punches per round. Especially when you're fighting in four round fights. Yes, especially that. Okay. Now, your conditioning, it's four rounds now. It's yeah, we work harder in our condition, you know, because we used to fight three rounds, now we're fighting four rounds, so we worked a little bit more harder than we used to before in, in amateur, you know. So his coach is Oscar Tovar, owner of the Bad Boys Gym in McAllen, Texas. Uh, also, the, your cousin? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's talk about you going pro. Se they're both 17 years old, okay? Their pro debut, it's not the amateurs no more. They're not fighting for trophies. They're fighting for money. You like that? Yeah, we like that <laughs> better. <laughs> now, why at such a young age you're turning pro? Oh, you know, it's just one day I walked in the gym and my cousin... I mean, my cousin already Oscar. knew. Yeah, my cousin Oscar already knew I was ready. So, you know, we talked and we went over some stuff and we just decided to go pro. Already. Now he won the what ringside world championships? Yeah, yes, sir. What year? Um, 2000 and 2008. And how many amateur fights did you have? 56. He had so he's had a lot of amateur fights and he's fought at the uh, uh, national level, just like Benito. You won ringside world. Yeah, three three uh, titles of ringside. Yeah, ringside world championships in Kansas. He won it three times. Three times. So they do have the amateur backgrounds, okay? And you also have uh, what do you call it? Uh, you fought over there at the Junior uh, Junior Olympics too. Yes, sir. Uh, Jos, I've made it to state J Junior Olympics, um, Houston Open Ring Nationals, uh, Golden Glove. Uh, State Golden Gloves and uh, the Rio Grande Valley Golden Gloves. Now you feel, okay, let's talk about the pro style. You feel your style is more made for the pros than the amateurs? I feel more confidence, more, more, a little bit more technique than, than amateurs, you know. I feel confidence. Okay. Now how about you? You think your style is more made for the pros? Of course, you know, everybody would always tell me at, when they would go out to see me at, at the amateur shows that they already they saw potential in me and you know that my, my style is already uh, ready for the pro so you got a pro style not yeah. that amateur throwing a million yeah, punches not the throwing a bunch of punches each round you know more calm more more discipline okay now let's take a look out for these guys like i said the valley always has young bucks r rising up you know brandon reels turn pro i'm brandon reels brandon figueroa golly i keep saying brandon reels brandon figueroa turn pro he's two and oh these guys are turning just turning pro they're excited hey you know it's sort of pretty much a dream of dream for you doing this yeah, it's, it's a dream you know we you know, actually our dream is coming true now who inspired you to turn pro fighter oh juan manuel marquez you know he's uh, one of the fighters i look up to you know juan manuel marquez how about you who uh, many boxers um, Mayweather, you know, Marquez, Barrera, you know, the list goes on and on. See, them, them, them guys, what do you call it, they set the foundation for these guys to turn pro. If, they, them, if them guys they mentioned weren't fighting, they probably wouldn't have that inspiration. But, hey, they want to, you know, this is a pro game. They made the sacrifices. They put in the work. And they're going to go out there, you know, in a, in a pro atmosphere now. <laughs> it's not going to be an amateur atmosphere. No, it's not going to be amateur yeah. anymore. So, yeah. how, about, how about you? The bright lights come on. You gonna be nervous or are you gonna be ready, relaxed, and ready to go? No, nah, I'll be ready to shine. You know, um, put a good show for all my fans. You know, I'll be ready for sure. So look out for these guys. Cavasso's promotions, Border Wars Two, Far Event, Bogus Ford Event Center. Check them out. Valley always has young, upcoming stars.